Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another large ship. And this one is called the GR701 Light Frigate, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a large block large ship that features a bunch of very bright green blocks all the way around this ship. We have some fantastic use of the neon tubes, making a lot of the lighting on the ship. And we've got a nice sort of turrets all the way around this ship for added protection. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu. There it is. This thing is 1,984 large blocks using pretty much all the DLC packs. We've got no information about it whatsoever here. So we'll just give it a thumbs up. Move all the way around to the very front. Have a quick look around the outside. Then we'll have a tour of the interior to see what that has to offer. So at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, we've got a bunch of rocket launchers to blast your enemies with. And surrounding all of that, we've got some dark grey blocks with a bunch of very bright green blocks which stick out like a sore thumb on a dark background. If we were to get a little bit closer, we can see a bunch of neon tubes going along the top right here for some added lighting in the darkness. And coming all the way closer to our rocket launcher and looking slightly down, we have a doorway to get in and out. This is one of two doorways where the other one is directly onto the bridge at the very top. If we had to pull away from there and start to look on the side of the thing, we'll see even more great use of our green neon tubes along the dark grey blackish blocks. So moving all the way along like so, there is our rocket launchers and there is the first of many turrets around this ship. If we were just to drop down just a little bit, we've got a spotlight to light up the darkness and then we've got the first of many hydrogen thrusters that appear all the way around the edge of this ship. Continuing around the very side of this thing, we've got even more neon tubes even more bright green blocks over on this section right here. We've got ourselves a access point all the way down to here for one of our rocket launchers that we can see all the way around this corner right there. We have to come all the way up. There is a galling turret and then an auction farm just hidden away in the side. If we come across over to this section, we've got a small little armored piece on the back there to help out our large hydrogen thrusters at the back. If we come all the way around to the opposite side. There we go. So we do have a cylinder block. they got an interior pillar onto it with a interior light giving out a green glow with another interior turret just attached onto here for some additional protection at the back. Comes all the way across to here towards the very back of this thing where we've got three large hydrogen thrusters to push us around and we should get some great speed out of this. If we look all the way up there, we've got another interior light with a green glow and all the way down the below, we've got a antenna to make sure we can always find this thing. If we continue all the way along the bottom of this thing, we'll see even more hydrogen thrusters, the armor protection on the opposite side right over there. Then moving along over to here, we've got even more spotlights, some more hydrogen thrusters, some landing gear and magnetic plate to land this thing down on. And we can see our hydrogen tanks to fuel this thing up. Moving towards the very front. There we go. Now if we were to come all the way up and above and start to look down, there's the neon tubes we saw earlier. Then moving along, this is what we get. Going towards the main body of the ship, there is our bridge to drive this thing around. We've got a lone flight seat, which is where I'm currently sitting, and a doorway right behind it to get in and out from this section right here, which is a very small docking pad for a small transport ship or even a small fighter for you to bring along or even go off to a station inside. We look all the way down to there. Even more great use of our neon tubes. Some more interior pillars with lights on top. And we can see some blast or edge blocks just surrounding that connector to make sure you don't damage anything while landing. I'm going towards the very back. There we go. And that is a very brief look around the outside of the GR701 Light Frigate. It looks fantastic with how it's all been done. And one of the first ships I've shown that uses that very silly green color. And it does stand out quite amazingly. But once it changes to a night time. There we go. That is the type of glow we get. And we can see those neon tubes from quite a distance. Especially on the top right there. But I suppose it would be a bit better if I had a darker skybox. But what we can do now is that I'll bring the sun back around, grab hold of my character, get out of this seat, and I will come through this doorway right here. So through this doorway, this is what we get. This is our little docking pad, and we can walk across all the way over here to get inside to our main driving seat. Now that is one of two driving seats. We do have one further into the ship, but it is missing a lot of the controls that that one up there has. Anyway, coming all the way over to the doorway right here, opening this up, there we go, we've got a double door for an airlock. We've got no scripts for an auto door and airlock, so we will have to close it up manually behind us. So opening up that, coming through here. There we go. 
in sea greeted by some more green lighting. Coming up this ramp, this is what we get. So in the first little living quarters, we've got a kitchen, table, armory locker, and around this corner, we've got ourselves a doorway to go to a toilet and shower setup. If we can continue back around to here, we can see a jump drive in the floor where we can jump approximately 2,000 kilometers with this thing, which is quite nice for a large ship. And coming all the way around to this side right here, here is our kitchen bay. Just getting a better look. There we go. If we were to go up these steps and over to here, this is our interior flight seat where we only have one singular option, which is going to be for the rocket launchers at the front there to fire them all together. As for the rest of this room, we do have a projected table, projecting the entire ship. Then we've got a doorway on our left and right hand side. These doorways are going to take us down to the engineering bay where we can access our assembler and basic refinery. So opening up this one and coming all the way around. There we go, we just go and drop down to here. Here is our assembler. And if we were to go to the opposite side by following this little passage or going up and down the ladder on the opposite side, then come across to our basic refinery. And there we go. Then everything else in this room is basically everything you need to survive. So there's our auction farm on the side, a bunch of interior thrusters, gyroscopes, hydrogen tanks, conveyors, and yes, everything else we need to power this thing and keep it moving. Moving all the way up and coming through the door on the opposite side, all the way around to here. We'll go and close that up, close one on the opposite side, and now we'll pump this area full of auction once again. Moving towards the very back, there is a gravity generator so we can jump around without floating away. And in the floor, we've got an O2 H2 generator, which is one of many on this ship. Looking all the way up, we've got another set of stairs that come all the way up to the flight seat that I was sitting in at the very start. And you can see we've got a fantastic view all the way around this thing, so we can see what's going on. And there's a door I went through that leads to the docking pad. Yes, getting to the seat, bring up the HUD. These are the controls we get with the light frigate. So number one is the exact same as the seat down below, where we just fire all of our rocket launchers at the same time if they don't need to be reloaded. So there we go, now start to fire them all together. And number two is going to be for our turrets on and off around the ship. Number four and number five is for our jump drives, where if we press number four, we now jump 2,000 kilometers, which is what we're going to do right now. Number six is for our reactors on and off, number seven for our hydrogen engines on and off, number eight for our hydrogen thrusters on and off, and number nine for our connector to lock and lock it. And there we go, that's a fantastic jump. And that is all the stuff this has going on with it. So what we can do now is just fly this thing around and as you can see, we got some fantastic speed thanks to those three large hydrogen thrusters. Coming to a stop, however, we are slightly slower, but we do have enough mouse control to be able to do a 180 and boost forwards to stop ourselves a lot quicker. So let's go up to 100 meters per second here. There we go. Now going to flip a 180 and boost forwards. And there we go. A lot faster than coming to a stop naturally. Moving left and moving right, we've got a nice lot of speed with that. Moving down and then moving up. Again, a nice lot of speed. This thing is very fast all the way around. And as you saw from when I moved my mouse, the gyroscope controls are very, very good. A little bit of weight on here so it's not too floaty. And it's generally what I prefer when it comes to a ship's control. And there we go. That is pretty much it for the GR701 Light Frigate. There's not too much else to talk about. It does look fantastic with how it's all been set up and you do have everything you need to survive in survival mode. So one final thing to do, of course, is to slam this into an asteroid to see how it crumbles against the rocks. So, as per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below. If you do wish to download and play around with it yourself, I highly recommend you do, because it is a fantastic looking ship. And here we go. We're now coming up to the asteroid. The textures are popping in. We should get a nice big crash out of this, because we do have a bit of weight on here. So here we go all the way forwards and we seem to evolve. That was kind of odd. I was, I was a little bit afraid that we went straight through the asteroid like it just didn't count it. But we did a nice lot of damage. Look at that. We even bored a pretty big hole and we damaged the ship quite spectacularly. I just come out of here and open up the doorways so we do have a little bit of power. But here is the docking pad. We've got no more connector, no more interior ship. I'm not even sure how that happened. You'd have thought the front of the ship would have got destroyed and not the back. But here we go, we just lost absolutely everything. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.